This is the According to Me show. I'm your host, Jason Lee Wilkins, father of four, conservative, libertarian, husband, middle class, common sense, average American dude who's almost sure of it that the IRS is listening to my prayers. You think that's a joke, (laughs) but we're going to start here today. Congressman Aaron Schrock of Illinois was informed by the Coalition for Life of Iowa that they were asked by the IRS to please detail the content of the members of your organization's prayers. That's right. The Coalition for Life of Iowa is an organization in Iowa. Uh, They are a pro-life organization, conservative organization, as you would assume. And, um, you know, they uh, got asked by the IRS and have documentation to show it that um, they were kind of asked once again, you know, can you tell me like what you guys pray about over there? I mean, it's so absurd of a question. It almost honestly makes me wonder if they're just making up stuff at this point to ask. Like, is there a bet going on uh, at the IRS or from the administration? Like, (laughs) let's see if we can get somebody to answer this one. I mean, maybe it's a game or something. I mean, I mean, don't you see like, a you know, please inform the IRS if any members of your organization have had a sexual encounter with Gary Busey. Uh, or, you know, please provide documentation of your favorite Dire Straits song and list the reasons why. I mean, these are the kind of questions that, based on this kind of stuff, I could see happening any time now. If there's a local Tea Party organization here in Indiana, get ready, because you may get asked, you know, who was the better frontman for Van Halen, Roth or Hagar? Which one do you think? I mean, it's a freaking joke. Jacob Blue accepted his resignation several days later as part of the investigation? I mean, are we supposed to believe that? And not only that, I mean, if that is truly the case, I mean, let's just apply some real-world common-sense thought into this. Have you ever been fired before? Or know somebody who's been fired? Or, or you just how that whole situation plays out? I mean, just think about this from the private sector. Uh, you're the head of an organization, and uh, recently there's been a lot of poor performance and a large investigation involving your organization that you're the head of. A lot of shady things going on and a lot of favoritism throughout the company. And so you go in front of the board, uh, which in this instance would be Jacob Blue, the Treasury Secretary. And um, at the end of that conversation, you go, yeah, you know, I'm pretty embarrassed by all this. This is really bad. I'll tell you what, I'm going to resign from my position, um, but I'm going to work another four weeks and then I'll get out of here. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The board's like, yeah, that's cool. No big deal. Because that's what just happened here. Now, if that really were the private sector, is that how it would play out? No. It'd be like, hey, get the hell out of here, pack up your desk and get out. That's what it would be. But that's not what's happening here. And the reason why that's not what's happening here is because he had decided to resign from his temporary position as the head of the IRS before this investigation, before Jacob Blue even talked to him. I mean, that's that's what they expect you to believe, America. Who gets fired and hangs out for four weeks? No one. It's BS. And Lois Lerner is a is a key part to the story that you need to know about, because Lois Lerner is the IRS director of exempt organizations. Now, finally, is asked this week uh, to take the stand herself. I'm excited to tell you that the According to Me show has obtained audio from this hearing, and this is exclusive audio that you will hear nowhere else. Listen to this exchange. It's captivating. And again, exclusively here on According to Me. Ms. Lerner, I'll ask you just a couple of additional questions. Is it possible that we could narrow the scope of questions and that there are some areas that you would be able to answer any questions on here today? I I plead the fifth. Ms. Lerner, would you uh, be willing to answer questions specifically related to the earlier statements made under oath before this committee? Um, no, but I can tell you that I plead the physics. At this point, uh, I believe you have not asserted your rights, but in fact have effectively waived your rights. Would you please seek counsel for further guidance at the, on this matter while we wait? Five, one, two, three, four, fifth. Anything you say, fifth. Go ahead, ask me a question. Did you fifth. As you can hear by the absurdity of her answers, I mean, they broke out in laughter. 
It was so bad, but that's exclusive here at the According to Me show. Fam! Already documentation out there that was given to Congress about the IRS tar- targeting conservative groups and Tea Party organizations, so on and so forth. This is already out there. Uh, despite the president telling you, I-, I didn't know until I opened up the newspaper. Right, that whole thing. None of this would even be an issue if we had a flat tax in the first place. You would need the freaking IRS if everyone paid the same flat rate across the board. But no, the progressive income tax, which is what it was initially named for a good reason, because it's progressive, allows certain people to pay and other people to not pay. And some companies to pay more, some companies who do us a favor to pay less. Some who can do this can write this off versus that off versus this. There are loopholes all over the place. And so you can use the strong arm of the IRS to bury an organization, which is what's happening here. Is the IRS involved? Of course they are. Did they do it on their own? I certainly doubt that. So IRS, you want to hear what's in my prayers? Well, here it goes. Dear Lord, I pray that you give strength and guidance to the American people and to our elected officials to increase our unemployment rate by 100,000 or so by firing every single person at the IRS because... They're not needed anymore because instead of the loopholes and the backroom deals and strong arming, certain organizations simply go away with the IRS. Put your tax policy on a post-it note by instituting a flat tax and problem solved. Amen. You have been listening to the According to Me Show with Jason.